hero is being honored today for his unconventional way of fighting for America in World War II, even if it meant serving another country. WZZM13's Hannah Saunders shows us how his story is being shared along the Muskegon Channel. July 6th is now declared Joe Byerly Day in Muskegon. A very, very special day for the Byerly family. In honor of the late World War II vet with a unique story of heroism. My father's considered to be the only American paratrooper who actually fought with both the Americans and the Russians against the Germans. Byerly served in the 101st Airborne, jumping into Normandy on D-Day but then captured. His parents back here in Muskegon, my grandparents, had actually received a telegram saying that he'd been killed in action. Now, Byerly's story is brought back to life in a section of the Silverside Submarine Museum, including a replica of the prison camp barrack where he was held captive for seven months. It's a moving experience. Byerly escaped and joined with the Russians. He said after six months, seven months in prison camp, enduring what he endured at the hands of the Nazis, of the Germans, he wanted one last chance to actually fight against them. And the Russians were our allies. After an injury, Byerly returned to his family in Muskegon, got married, and had kids. Eventually, he told them his story, but he would never live to see just how many people he would inspire. My father passed away in uh, 2001, uh, but we feel his presence very strongly here with us today. Now his story will be shared with his hometown, the place the world traveler loved most. In Muskegon, Hannah Saunders, WZZM 13 News.